If you missed it at five, not to worry. We have another lightning round of answering all your questions about the 13 new learning centers at GCS with Chief Academic Officer Dr. Whitney Oakley. Here's one minute on the clock. What would your response be to folks who are saying you can open up these learning centers? Why can't you open up schools? This is really to provide access to internet for students that don't have it. That, that's it. Um, school is much more complex and offers a much wider range of services. Who is staffing these learning centers? No, they are district employees. So ACES staff, teacher assistants who have volunteered. Yeah, it's not intended to be child care or school. How many computers will these learning centers provide? We are asking students to bring in devices um, for this, but and, and across the board, there's only about 300, around 300 to 350 desktops that will be spread across these sites for students who are not able to bring a device. Is there a cap to how many students can go to one learning center? We do have a cap at each school that once you add up all those caps, you get to the total 750 slots. Um, and so there, it could be, in fact, that there is a, is a wait list. And we are prepared to expand if we fill the 750 seats and we feel like it's successful. You can't just walk into a learning center come Monday. Advanced registration is required. We have sign-up information on our website, WFMINews2.com.